This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Mmm, they're cold, my dude. Ah! L.O. Bean, Moccasin game, chillin'. Celtics game, chillin'. Celts up. Ooh, Celts up like 15 right now on the T-Wolves. T-Wolves have been playing really good. They actually gave us out a pretty solid game, but it looks like the Celts are uh, about to wrap this one up. Um, hey, I've got a few things for you guys. I'm going to mute the TV, and let's get this rolling. I've got, in this video, you're going to see a food review, a sneaker review, and I have three pairs of Jordan 1s for sale. So if you're interested in buying Jordan 1s, go to the end of the video. I'm going to list them for sale. Um, let's get into... Before we do the sneaker review, let's get into the uh, food review. Because I showed these in a video the other day, and I didn't review them. They are the Trader Joe's Gone Bananas Chocolate Covered Banana Slices. Um, I'm gonna give, I haven't given an official score yet, but I have tried them. And let me just say, I think the score is going to be good. I think the score is going to be really good because I was a fan. They're, they're a little hard, that's what she said, because they're, they're frozen, but you just bite right into it. Mm, oh my god. I'm a banana guy. Potassium energy. I have a banana every day. I'm a chocolate guy. The two together, magnificent. I remember this ice cream place I used to go to. They would just hand you a banana on a stick. It was covered in chocolate. Fantastic. Need to go back there. Need to find a place that, that sells those. But these will do. I didn't know these existed. Mmm, they're cold, my food. Ah! Mmm. Had a root canal like a month ago. That sucked. Now I gotta get a crown on the tooth. So, definitely has nothing to do with all this candy I eat. <laughs> In my heart, will die. Anyways, re uh, review. Do not defrost, just open and enjoy. Love the packaging, I'm going 9.1. I'm going 9.1. I'm a big fan, I will buy these again, 9.1. Next up, sneaker review, let's go. Here's the Jordans for sale. Oh, also up too, I've got some Starburst jelly beans. Starburst jelly beans, are you kidding me? Come around around Easter time, what a great jelly bean. They are the best jelly beans. They're so good, they've got so many different flavors now, just classic Starburst jelly beans. So damn good. Sneaker review from End Clothing. End is over in the UK. What's awesome about End, their shipping boxes have like their own, it's like their own packaging. End tape, everything like that. So they, they will still come in a bag. So I love the way they ship shoes. It's very official. I think a lot of companies, like if you're like a small shop, I think this is how you should ship shoes, is get your own brown boxes. It's just a nice touch. Here we go, End. Reebok collaboration, as you guys saw, the, the pink salmon, sa the pink salmon, salmon, why can't I say salmon? The pink salmon joints, this is the black salmon, so it is the black version, uh, black, rosette, and white. Let's go ahead, I actually haven't really given these like a thorough look through, inside, salmon, uh, like color, salmon paper. I gotta say right off the bat, I like these better than the full salmon ones. Full salmon ones are awesome just because they're so, they just stand out and they, they just truly pop, but, I think the black ones just kind of, well, let me, let me use this one. Take a look at that, take a look at that. I just think the black one, that black with the subtle hits of orange just looks really cool. I, I really like the way that came out. Let's focus there, look at that. So as you can see, black nylon upper, you've got the salmon scale um, right there on the toe box, Reebok hit, the Instapop, Right here, Insta Pump Fury. Um, hit that, and the shoe just kind of pumps up. Wow, you can actually really feel that too. Little release button there if you want to let the air out. You do have end um, on the pull tab. Love pull tab guy. You guys know that pull tab guy. Reebok hit on the back. Here's the outsole. Carbon fiber. Big fiber. Car fi big carbon fiber plate. Um, wow, this is like a almost like a gel light. It actually looks like like a like fish. It almost looks like it's like a jelly. Um, kind of like a honeycomb pattern in the midsole right there. So uh, overall, it's a really solid shoe. I know I think these are dropping 
I want to say this this weekend, so uh, I'll post links to uh, N's website and all the info about the shoe if you're interested in buying it. Uh, thank you to the good people at N for sending this through. Really appreciate it. I really like this black version. Let me, know, let me know what you guys like better, the black version or the orange version. Next up, let's get into it. Uh, I'm selling a few pairs of Jordans. Wait right here. So I've got three pairs of Jordan 1s. Uh, I, I just don't wear them enough and or they don't fit. Uh, so this is the Air Jordan Retro 1. This is the CP3 1. They are worn a couple times in excellent condition. Hold on. Probably, I'm just going to say, you know, 9 out of 10 condition. Take a look at them. Pretty much no creasing on the toe box. Back heel, there's really no creasing. Um, and then just like minor wear on the bottom. So really just overall, they are honestly almost look like new. Jumpman, or Jumpman the 30 logo is still fully intact. I'll let these go for 75 shipped. Uh, follow me on Twitter, tweet me if you want them. Uh, my link to my Twitter is in the description. Uh, next up here, so 75 shipped on those. This is the Mellow One. With these, I just don't wear these uh, enough to own them. I'm trying to, you know, flush out just some old pairs. You guys know I have just stacks and stacks of shoes, and I may start doing this uh, regularly if you guys are interested in buying. Um, I'll, like, throw them in videos and stuff like that. I, it's cool to be able to sell to you guys if, if you're interested. It makes things easier in my life than having to, like, list them on eBay or something like that. This is the Mellow One. Same exact condition. Um, even less. It doesn't even look like they've ever been worn. Um... Is the toe box inside? Yeah, these literally. I have I worn these. Wow, these these are literally. I think holy shit. I may have tried them on. I don't know that I ever actually wore them. So these are literally new. Like I maybe once for a video, but um, shit, I kind of like these now. I'm gonna let these go for. Um, want to call it 120 shipped? I honestly don't know like what. A lot of stuff go for. I mean, they're they're brand new. So 120 shipped. Uh, tweet me if you want them. Uh, yeah. Now I'm contemplating selling these. <laughs> I don't know. Tw if someone wants them for 120, tweet me. Other than that, I actually might keep those now. <laughs> when it's like it's, when you haven't seen something in a while, you're kind of like, ooh, I like that. And I don't want to sell these at all. Like I'm actually pissed. But when Jordan Brand started doing the remastered ones. They, they fit way different and bigger. So this is, I was so excited for the UNC's, UNC ones, and I got the size nine, and they fit huge. They fit like a nine and a half to me. I need an eight and a half in these. So if you have an eight and a half, let me know. I'll buy them off you. Other, otherwise, I'm selling these. Uh, once again, all my shoes are, I always keep my shoes in really nice condition. I always wipe them down or clean them. I never like sweat in them or like go crazy in them. Uh, you know, I wouldn't try to sell a pair that's like actually beat or worn. But uh, take a look at the toe box. Once again, nine out of 10 condition. Um, there's the outsole. Looks pretty clean. Uh, I don't know, what are the retail these? I guess I'll let these go for one, 140 shipped. Uh, if you want them, tweet me. Uh, maybe I can neg negotiate on some of these prices, but like I said, they're in excellent condition. I love this shoe. It's just annoying because I know I won't, I, whenever I wear them, I just feel, it's just like floppy. I know that I need an eight and a half in these, so it's just frustrating because I want to wear them and enjoy them, but I would just prefer to have, whenever, whenever she doesn't fit right, whether it's too tight or too small or whatever, it always bugs me and it, I, it goes through my head where I'm like, I just gotta get rid of this shoe. I want the correct size. All right, um, I think that's it. This turned into a nine minute video, a true one take. I did not make a single idiot, edit, idiot. Uh, see, I left all this crap in. True one take for you guys, one take Thursday. Uh, I have an idea for, I'm gonna bring sneaker rotations back, I believe, um, in kind of like a different format, so stay tuned for that. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So, uh, once again, uh, food review, boom. And thank you for the rebox, appreciate it. And shoes for sale, three pair. If you want them, tweet me, link in the description. You want the tees. Can't stress it enough, guys. Look at these things, gray. Maroon, 16 bucks. Hey, if you made it to this video, let's do this. Let's, let's cut a deal with you guys. You tweet me, and if you want one for, want to call it, five bucks off, tweet me. You Gucci. 
All right, I'm out of here. Take care. Peace.